Live with accurate and balanced coverage. This is News 5 at 6. President Obama in Colorado today talking about easing the burden of student loans, what it means for grads already paying and students in school now. For many, it's the biggest financial investment they'll ever make aside from a home mortgage. Student loan payments for higher education are overwhelming millions of Americans. But in Denver this morning, President Obama laid out his plan to try and ease that financial burden. News 5 Zach Thaxton going beyond the headlines for us tonight. Hello, Denver! President Obama using CU Denver as the backdrop to outline new measures to ease the burden of student loan debt. At CU in the Springs, hundreds of students are contributing to the now $1 trillion national student debt, exceeding the national credit card debt for the first time ever. You start paying in December and it's going to be $300 a month. Tessa von Hilsheimer isn't a student here. She's an intern in the communications department trying to make some money to pay her loans from East Carolina University. It's a little overwhelming to know that I have this looming over my head and if I can't find some way to pay it, I'm going to be in big trouble. The president's plan, which does not need approval from Congress, will allow borrowers to reduce their monthly payments to 10 percent of their discretionary income and forgive the remaining balance after 20 years of payments. Borrowers can also consolidate multiple loans into a single monthly payment with a lower interest rate. Obama predicts more than 100,000 Coloradans will benefit from the program. Most are um, paying off those loans in, in good time although they're struggling to do so in an economy such as it is today. Obama says excessive student loan debt prevents many borrowers from starting a family, starting a new business, or buying a home, further draining the already struggling economy. Tessa can relate. You know, I know a lot of people who have moved back in with family and friends, and I am one of them who, because we can't afford both rent and payments. In Colorado Springs, Zach Thaxton. News 5. And the president's plan goes into effect next year. That's two years earlier than a plan already approved by Congress.